Good morning guys, what's up? So, parang uulan na naman. But at least hindi pa. Pag-uusaman natin why I got this bike. I'm just curious though. Um, pag sinabing Suzuki Raider, what's the first thoughts na naisip nyo? Ako kasi, para sa akin, when you say Suzuki Raider, ang unang naisip ko, legendary or an icon. And I'll let you, I'll give you three reasons why I got this bike. Let's go! Let me tell you a story. Um, the first time na nakita ko tong Suzuki Raider was back in 2004 or 2005 if I'm not mistaken. And uh, nasa Pasig ako noon. And naalala ko pa, I was in a training. At uh, pagbaba ng pagbaba ko ng building, this is the first bike that I saw. Hey doggy. The Suzuki Raider. Inlapitan ko kasi it was kind of new to me. Uh, wala kasi ako masyado na ikita nun sa daanan. Um, bagong style. Parang bagong style na motor sa mata ko pa siya nun. Inlapitan ko eh napansin ko na 125cc. E sabi ko siguro imported to kasi wala ako masyado na ikita sa daan eh. And year after year Suzuki released a newer version and from 125cc uh, tinasan nila yung displacement to 150cc over the years so lumabas yung first generation uh, second generation yung new breed and the uh, Raider 150FI so regardless kung anong version yan whether it's a carb type or fuel injected it doesn't matter the first thought or the first word that comes into my mind when you say Suzuki Raider is legendary Alamat and this brand for me is one of those brands or bikes that started a revolution pagdating sa motor and I saw it all coming um, bakit? Kasi it's highly customizable. It's high performing for a 150cc engine. And it's been proven na reliable to. Uh, throughout the years, si Suzuki, wala masyadong binago sa Raider. Ah, fuck! Rabak! Laki! <laughs> um, oo, meron. Um, merong aesthetic updates here and there. But nothing really major. Um... And since 2004, the motorcycle industry in the Philippines boomed. It did. Uh, here's an example of a chart. I know it's not back in 2004, but just to give you an idea. So imagine nyo pa, kung gaano karami yung bumili ng motor since 2004. I'm sure para dun sa mga dati pang nagmomotor, uh, katulad ko, you are w well aware that the Suzuki Raider was the best, undeniably best, underbone motorcycle here in the Philippines. It broke out and never looked back. Um, what I mean by broke out was sumikat siya ng sobra. However, tulad nga sabi ko kanina, sumikat din ang motor dito sa Pilipinas. And of course, um, kung maraming gustong bumili ng motor, marami rin gustong bumili ng mas magandang features or mas mataas din yung standards na inahanap nila. Suzuki did not, you know, wala masyadong in-improve sa Raider. And I'm sure other manufacturers like Honda and Yamaha 
so incoming and pinag-aralan din nila mabuti when they can enter and boy they were right um, since hindi masyadong ina-upgrade ni Suzuki yung Raider naglabas sila ng kanilang version and they were all hits on the releasing their sharp looking Honda RS150 also known as Sonic 150 um, that motorcycle when I tested it even though it's modified um, ang ganda. Uh, I mean it, and it has the latest technology FI fuel injected and the Raider 150 still has a carburetor engine or carb type pa nothing against carb type users guys I know alam ko yung lakas na mga motor nyo <laughs> and trust me when I say that I've tested uh, some Raider 115 a carb type and it's really strong if you saw my video Honda RS50 versus Raider 150 yung camera man dun na carb type na Raider <laughs> at ang lakas but like what I said was yung mga tao nagaanap din sila ng latest technology na mabibili ng pera nila oo nga naman if I'm gonna spend the money dun na sa latest technology and ang fuel injected it has been long proven na mas maraming benefits then ang Yamaha release their gorgeous looking Yamaha Sniper 150 and I used to have that bike and I loved it sarap dali ng Yamaha uh, lapad ng gulong sa likod comfortable if you're looking for a touring bike that's one of the bikes that I will suggest kasi ang sarap niyang dalahin why I sold it that's a different reason walang kinalaman yung Raider doon kung bakit ko binenta yung Yamaha Sniper 150 ko and that's a different topic maybe I'll discuss sa mga susunod kong vlog ba't ko binenta yung Sniper 150 ko but like what I said oh naliligo yung ah, asong ganda oh chow chow but like what I said the Yamaha Sniper 150 is a good looking bike and on top of that it has more features it's also fuel injected medyo napagiwanan si Raider 150 for the price point nung car type 99,000 it's almost the same as the Honda RS150 and the Yamaha Sniper 150 so most people being practical, oh nga naman, kung bibili ako ng motor, ano ba, tumpang luma, oh, ito bang may bagong technology. Kaya sila, including me, chose to get the Honda RS150 and like myself, got the Yamaha Sniper 150. And I'm sure napansin ni Suzuki yun. Um, they saw how Yamaha and Honda penetrated the category. So they decided to release this Suzuki Raider 150 FI. Muna, na-disappoint ako nung nakita ko to. Uh, lalo na yung pinagkumpara ko yung specifications ng Raider FI at ng Raider Carb Type. Sabi ko, ay! konti lang diferensya tapos mas mabigat pa tong um, FI uh, ang dry weight as per Suzuki as per Suzuki's website ang dry weight ng carb type is around 103 kilograms if I'm not mistaken and yung FI is around 109 kilograms pero yung horsepower dun medyo nagkalayo Suzuki claims it has 18 brake horsepower at 10,000 rpm and peak torque 8,500 rpm makukuha mo yung 18 brake horsepower 
So sabi ko parang konti lang yung diferensya and kahit dinagdagan nila yung brake, yung horsepower eh kung bumingkat naman, tatlong kilo so it's around 6 pounds din um, parang hindi rin masyadong mararamdaman kasi sabi ko, kailangan mag test drive ko kasi uh, tulad nga nung nabanggit ko, nabenta ko yung sniper and I was on the market looking for another bike and I was interested in getting the Raider FI but I was hesitant kasi nga halos konti lang yung difference gusto ko yung FI na so I tested this bike I have a friend naka FI siya and boy nung tinest drive ko grabe I was blown away kaya guys if you're gonna buy a bike I strongly suggest you test it do not buy a bike hang, hanggang hindi nyo natitest drive kasi hindi nyo mararamdaman eh uh, what, what I mean by that tulad nun hindi, akala ko walang kwenta ng FI kasi mas bumigat pa tapos wala naman halos difference pero I was wrong kaya if you're gonna buy go to a dealer test drive it kung ayaw nilang magpa test drive sa if yung dealer na yun ay magpa test drive ditch them humanap kayo ng dealer na pumapayag i-test drive yung mga motor nila okay huwag kayong bibili ng hindi nyo natin test drive or if may kaibigan kayo na may motor na ganun I strongly suggest na i-test drive nyo okay <laughs> sobrang nagkamali ako sa impression ko na dahil pinagkumpara ko lang yung specifications akala ko hindi ganun yung feeling Hindi kasi ako expert eh. Ordinaryong mamamayan lang ako na mahilig sa moto. And most of my driving city naman. But now I'm gonna give you the three reasons why I got this bike. Ikot muna tayo. Number one is because of its potent engine. I mean, this engine has a 150cc engine. Um, by the way, hindi pa nga 150cc engine. It's only, I think, 147 point something cc. But, you know, tulad nga sinabi ko, when I test rode this, it, it was really strong. Like, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm in third gear. It's something na may power is something na kaya mag overtake pag kailangan ko so I'm, I'm third gear 60 kilometers and look and I'm just on fourth gear mga tol so kung city driving lang itong Raider FI Pwedeng pwede na. It has the power enough. It's powered enough. No, I'm not gonna go and push it to its top speed. <laughs> Tapos na ang kamote days ko, mga tol. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but, you know, you get the point, right? This bike has enough power. If you need to overtake, o kailangan yung mag-overtake because of sketchy situations, or you just need to overtake, you, you can do it in this motorcycle. Niligo ulit tayo. Oh, 
yung aso. Kinabahan ako doon. Ha. Ah. Ah, buti na lang may kinukutkot siya. Hey man, this bike is fast. This bike is really fast for a 150cc engine. And that's one of the main reasons why I got this bike. <clears throat> Man, yung engine braking niya okay din. Hmm. Di masyado malakas. Um, and like sa other bikes na pag nag-engine brake ka, parang itatapon ka. This bike, it's engine braking. Um, pag na-rev much mo, saktong sakto lang and you know for me I engine brake a lot um, I know you should use your brakes muna but yung kasi nakasanayan kayo eh. lalo na pag mabilis yung takbo ko I engine brake a lot now let's go so, Oh, ganda ng engine braking niya. Hindi masyadong hindi yung tipong itatapon ka. So, tama na yun. <laughs> Ang makina nito, grabe, grabe. I love this engine, man. I love this engine. Now, let's go to my second reason. Pangalawang dahilan, ba't ko binili ito? Is yung build quality niya. Um, tabi tayo, ha? Anam tayo na matatabihan natin. Tulad na sabi ko, yung build quality niya, if you look at this bike, um, on my previous video, um, sabi ko, pasensya na, madumi, sabi ko on my previous video, um, having a hard time in modifying this bike, kasi it's very well put together, yung plastic niya masikip, um, yung mga bolts niya maganda, uh, yung, kumpa, yung fitment niya overall, um, sobrang quality um, mga foot decks tulad nyan hindi madulas um, yung headlight nya maganda rin LED na yung dash nya maganda so may gear, may gear indicator may trip A may trip B may rosan overall ang ganda, ang ganda ng pagkakagawa dito um And that's the reason, that's the second reason why I got this bike. There are some modifications that I did, like the seat. So, nagpalit ako ng motosuit na, moto, na cover. Kasi madulas yung muna. Tapos medyo pinatabasan ko siya. Hindi naman sagad, konti lang. Um, tapos yung profile ng, ng gulong, pinalitan ko. Ayoko na stop. Medyo madulas. Say lang. Sound check natin yung stock pipe. Ha, pwede na. Pwede na hindi na magpalit. Pero I'm still planning to upgrade my master. So yun guys, yung build quality niya, sulit na sulit. Now, uh, the last reason why I got this bike, 
is the ergo the ergonomics um, ang ibig ko sabihin nun is yung overall design niya. I mean hindi siya mataas hindi siya mababa sakto lang yung handlebar na okay lang yung taas um, you can go away with long rides with this um, handlebars um, syempre hindi siya kasing comfortable ng, ng Yamaha Sniper kasi yun medyo mataas eh. uh, but this this style is perfect for me um, kasi naalala ko yung Honda XRM ko nung minodify ko to have the same handlebars so naalala ko bigla yung XRM ko eh. and that's one of the reasons why pinili ko to um, sobrang friendly ng ergo nya mga switches nya kung nasaan so in short madaling gamitin yung side mirror kad ganyan yan gusto ko yan kasi malaki kitang kita mo yung nasa likuran mo um, at kahit pa paano sabihin na natin hindi masyadong bagay uh, you can go away with it it means na pwede na ang di ko lang na maayaw sa ergo na ito is yung upuan ay pinalitan ko nga kagad pinatabas ko the second day na nabili ko to kasi <laughs> medyo pangit talaga para sa akin ha para sa akin lang naman but yung iba gusto nila eh and you know okay, okay, pagdating sa design and looks kanya kanyang preference yan but for me yung overall design and ergonomics nitong motor na to is the third reason why I bought this bike Bonus na lang yung matipid sa gasolina. Um, I'm not thinking of that anymore. Kasi pagdating naman sa 150cc displacement bikes, hindi naman nagkakalayo yung fuel consumption yan eh. So, kung nagaanap kayo ng mas matipid, kumuha kayo ng Bajaj 110 or Honda Wave or Mio <coughs> which has been proven na mas matipid. Just so you know guys, ang fuel consumption ko dito is um, 40 to 45 kilometers per liter. Pero, it's a combination of walwal -wal and uh, slow riding. And of course, kung traffic din o hindi. Um, 40 to 45 kilometers per liter. So, para sa akin, matipid na yun. Okay na ako dun. Yan lang guys. But of course, this is not a perfect bike. I mean, uh, marami rin akong ayo dito. And siguro, I can discuss that on my next video. Uh, what are the things that I like and don't like about this bike? And kung ano pa ang pwedeng gawin ng Suzuki to make this a better bike. But for now, Yun lang mga guys, mga paps. Yun lang guys. Yun lang mga paps. Yeah, but I'd appreciate if you subscribe and click on the bell icon uh, to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Um, and if you have any comments or suggestions, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Um, thank you for watching, guys. You have a nice day and ride safe. Goodbye.